Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Craig, as usual. And anyway, we're going to be showing off the uh, Brother of Steel Hangman's Alley outpost, which I've successfully liberated from some pesky... Uh, some from some uh, pesky raiders, that's the word. I keep forgetting words today. Anyway, we're going to go in. We have a nice Brother of Steel flag and a restricted area sign, so you know who owns it. Anyway, let's go into the courtyard, which is pretty basic at the moment. I'm still trying to work out a lot of things you can do in here. You could probably put more crops in here and stuff like that if you want to go with your style and have your crops out here so you can gather them up and then bring them behind the wall. I love this actually intimidating look with the settlement beacon on top of it and then the Brother of Steel flag and whatnot. And if we go in here now and just a little bit of miscellaneous around to make it look like it's been used. Unfortunately, I couldn't get enough settlers in at the moment and I couldn't pull any of them from my uh, other settlements because they're all being used for very, you know, needed jobs. And I kind of want to like, do a design on this in a survival let's play at one point. So I'll actually start living here in Hangman's Alley if I, you know, clear out the raiders successfully, of course. Hopefully I'll be able to clear them out. There was a door there, but I took it down for some reason. I'll fix that in a bit. Damn light. Anyway, if we go over here, we're in the back of the base now, where you have access to the bunkhouse up there, and the radio tower if you want to work out a floor system above that, so you'll be able to get up there and down. Alright, let's go up to the bunkhouse first. This building, this settlement is very basic and easy to build, so you won't be using up a lot of space. I didn't have to do any, like, exploits to actually make the size any bigger. This is how it would look when I do my own survival at one point. And if we look in here, we have a basic bunkhouse for either your companions or whatever settlers you allow to live here. Which they can, you know, grow their own food, uh... There's also water purifying, like water pumps over here. The electrified water pumps make me make everything better. I have 20 water now, and so that's enough water being produced every day for the settlers to be happy and myself to be happy and hydrated when I go out into the waste to explore. But anyway, we would go up here. We have a secondary guard post over here, which is kept in darkness because you don't want the raiders seeing you straight away. And then we can look over here. We have somewhat of a little garden starting to sprout up. I was hoping to have another settler in here dressed up as a sort of see steel scribe or soldier in fatigue just you know maintaining the garden and whatnot since i believe settlers take uh, they take care of six mutiny fruit trees at a time if i had a robot now it'd take care of all of them but you know i don't have a robot at the moment and um if we go down here i know i'm using the big reactor now because this is actually the ideal kind of reactor to have in here if you want this kind of styled base that i'm doing right now which you, you have this this right here, it's powered, and also I've discovered that if you put connectors to any relating wall like here, that my tower up there is not connected to anything, it's not connected to anything down here. But if you look there, it's already on, the little green light. Because I put the connectors here to keep the lights on and move this up one to the floor, and it just, you know, electrified the building, so it actually gives it enough power to power all the way up there and the lights, so that's actually pretty handy. So, right, as we see, this base is pretty, you know, ba it's basic. Oh, this is my favorite edition, the Corridor of Debt. I'll tell you why, because, uh, what did I have when I was coming down here? I had my, uh, 10 mil pistol, and these guys tried to bust through the door, and uh, I just noticed something interesting as well. I don't know if this has been in the, like, since the original game, like, the start of the game when it first came out, but there's flies flying around them now. I never noticed that around dead bodies, so that's an interesting one right there. And if we go back through the corridor of debt, you literally you don't need to have this corridor here. You can make like a wall back there, more space for crops and what whatnot, and different kinds of crops to make different foods and stuff like that. And then you have water as well, so I can presume it do you need dirty water or purified water to make soup. I'm not too sure. This place doesn't really have a kitchen at the moment. I will be setting one up in the workshop area. My little workshop area so hopefully I'll find a suit of power armor and have one here just on standby just in case I need it and uh yeah this is actually really really helpful I'm enjoying this I enjoyed building this today and um I'm trying to work on my spectacle isle island building more build more so this, this so that place is actually you know fully operational it's settled and uh, it'll have people roaming it and going to the stores and working their you know, miscellaneous jobs or being guards and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully soon you'll be able to see that. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much the outpost. It's uh, it's it's it. I'll say it's a bit finicky with the um, placing of blocks. But if you get this doorway down here, you are golden. 
like this doorway perfectly straight over this little archway here you're golden so you have your own protective door right there with a turret inside of it well it just really depends on what kind of style you want to go with so that actually originally in the original um like it was i believe it was requested uh, two different people requested two different things so i thought i'd implement them in both of this video one person looked for a brittle steel base kind of thing so i thought of a long range recon base but an outpost does just as well i believe and some guy I forget, I'm sorry, I forgot both of their names, wanted to know if it was possible to set up an outpost without connecting to any other ones. I'm connected right now because this save has all the resources I need. So I'm going to attempt this at a different save where I don't have as much resources as I do as I collect a lot to set up a, a somewhat of a, me a medium like resource gathering base for the time being and then build it up the way I want it to because we're pretty close proximity to Diamond City, which makes it ideal to get shipments of stuff from Myra and uh, the gunsmith guy who, you know, he sells you guns and you can get copper and aluminium from him in shipments at a time every 24 hours, I think, or is it every three days? I can't remember at the moment, but you guys might know. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, it has been fun making this outpost. I'm not usually a Brotherhood fan at the moment, but you know, Brotherhood have some of its perks, and the flag's nice. <laughs> but anyway, you can make this any kind of faction base you want, where you set up and where you start. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, because I know I have. And uh, yeah, you know, you do the usual thing. Leave a comment, you know, like, or if you're new to the channel, leave a subscribe to the channel, and hope and see some more content popping up every day, hopefully. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time on RTC.